Hi guys, thanks for tuning into the latest Scan Tool Network video. In this video, it's a demonstration for the Launch CRP129 touchscreen diagnostic package. Uh, this tool will allow you to diagnose and reset the main systems like engines, airbags, ABS, and uh, when I say engines, airbags, ABS and transmission and it allow you to do a few reset functions as well. Uh, right now though we're in a Mini and we're going to focus on this car. We have the ABS warning lights showing on this dashboard here. So we're going to use this tool to diagnose those particular faults. Now the other end of this cable is plugged into the vehicle diagnostic port. So that's how the tool gets its information from the vehicle. And if you are interested in this kit actually I'll put the link to the genuine and official products in the description below this video. Uh, unfortunately fakes and clones do exist so it really is worth your while getting the genuine and official product from the links in the description below this video so first thing to do to try and diagnose these faults is click on to diagnose uh, what you can do is you can click on auto detect if you want and it will automatically detect your vehicle the VIN number so it's found it well we believe it's found it in any case Uh, it's saying really quit. Don't know why it's asking that. But instead, sometimes I found it does that. I don't know why. But instead, if it does that, then just go and select your own manufacturer. So in this case, it's Mini. And we need to go to manually select uh, F60. That's right and then we go to the chassis system because that's where the ABS will be there we go ABS so it's now getting a connection with the ABS system uh, communication error okay instead of that why don't we go uh, automatically search so this might do it. It's finding the vehicle VIN number. We don't want to change that. We want to go next. Reading vehicle data. Okay, we'll go to health report. Uh, if we give it a few seconds, it will load into a, like a, a report and it'll scan the main four systems as I mentioned earlier. Sometimes that can take 15, 20 seconds to initiate. There we go. So it's found some fault codes. So if we go into, well, it's found, yeah, ABS. There, so you can get like a report which you can print off for anybody you need to, but this is the fault here, ABS. Uh, 48082A wheel speed sensor voltage supply rear right so that is indicating that the f there's a fault with the rear right ABS sensor and on that in this vehicle it needs to be changed so um, yeah that is one way of doing it we've got the click enter yeah it's going to give you more information on the fault there that's the fault there and what you can do also is come back and you can you should be able to go and find read data stream and this will give you live data on the wheel speed sensors so there we go select wheel speed sensors so we just select all and this is telling you the current live speed of the ABS sensors so um, what you would expect is the rear right ABS sensor to stay at zero while all of the others were moving and showing a speed which is um, the same as what the vehicle speed is actually doing so that is a good way of finding which ABS sensor again is faulty if you're not getting any luck with the the fault code system or indeed you just want to basically double check uh, but once we've put a new ABS sensor in here then it's just really a case of going back into the section where we can clear fault codes that will get rid of the fault code on screen and it will also get rid of the warning lights on the dashboard here so that is the launch CRP129E as I mentioned and uh, I'm going to put links to this kit in the description below this video because uh, there are fakes there are clones out there and you just really don't want to get involved with anything like that thanks for watching and I hope this helps